So Tetra Pak is a global company. We are about 25,000 employees around the world. And through our own market companies, we provide local support in 160 countries. And Tetra Pak aims to offer the food industry complete solutions in processing, packaging, and distributing food and beverage. So Tetra Pak is more than equipment. The key is our application expertise to provide the food industry and our customers new technologies and solutions. It actually extends to a deep understanding of various types of foods, how they behave, behave during processing, handling ingredients, different types of recipes, and ensure that we really get the properties the producer want and the consumer expect. So we focus mainly on these food, five, five food categories, dairy, beverage, prepared food, ice cream, and cheese. And what's also interesting is that nowadays you can see a blend of these food categories from the different type of products coming to the market. So innovation is what we all talk about especially in the fast moving food industry today. And we can start just about anywhere to explore. There are so many great ideas waiting to be turned into new products. And a good place to start is at Tetra Pak's product development centers around the world. And here you can meet me and other processing experts working together with the manufacturers and our customers to develop and scale up new recipes for commercial production. So what we do actually is to provide the bridge between ideas and the final engineered processing solution. Also, as part of our skills in Tetra Pak, is also understanding the market. Here, Tetra Pak has mapped uh, various consumer trends into our own Trendipedia. It is an assessment of extensive market research we've done and our view on different types of consumer preferences. In this picture you see the more bigger one and well-established consumer trends here to the left, but moving on in the direction to the right, you see those currently emerging the consumer trends that offer big business potential they represent a chance to differentiate the brand and also increase manufacturers' future success to the market. And Tetra Pak can support customers and manufacturers to pinpoint these unmet consumer needs and unleash new business, to, uh, business opportunities together. So today, we will dig a little bit deeper into processing emulsified sources and we've selected three food trends that we think is highly relevant for the source category. Me and Hans Henrik will share some of these insights with you right now. Oh, sorry, yeah. So first, we have good food for me. Research indicates that consumers want to live healthily and feel good. They want fewer, cleaner ingredients, mm -hmm. but they also want to enjoy their food. So veganism is starting to grow in popularity, along with vegetarian and flexitarian eating. And people are looking for the flexibility and freedom to choose what's good for me. Still, the consumers want speed and convenience of fast food, but they expect more of the experience. They expect more fresh and healthy and flavorsome ingredients. And a good example is casual street food 24-7. It offers easy access, plenty of variety, and you can add with personal twists and customize your product. And the third way of globalization is making the world more interconnected. 
And what's interesting also, it also makes local adaptation even more important. People are searching for identity and authenticity, but at the same time, the boundaries between different food cuisines are started to get blurred. There is this fusion of flavors from near and far, new and traditional, it's here. So I'm sure you can see yourself in some of these food preferences that are on the market right now. Coming to sauces, it's a great shortcut for restaurants to create new modern dishes and really reinvent their menus. So how is it possible to create all this variety? It's about offering the full range of condiment sauces, a versatile range from traditional mayonnaise to low-fat versions to vegan style and to egg-free dressings, further on to clean label, you name it. And ingredients do play an important role here, both for the source quality and the ingredient-friendly labeling consumers search for. You have the starches, multiple types. You have the eggs, also various types. You have fats, hydrocolloids, acids, and not to forget about all flavors. So managing numerous types of ingredients and combination accurately every time is absolutely key. It gives manufacturers the freedom to innovate and keep innovating. So my role is to be this vital bridge between ideas and processing solutions, understanding the demands from the market, the ingredients, and how to tweak recipes into various processing solutions. This will help source manufacturers pick up the pace for new product development without losing the focus on product quality. So the challenges for producers is to controlling the product quality to deliver the desired product properties every time and also have the flexible production solutions to cover the wide range of the future of its sources. So I have touched a little bit about our knowledge in this and now Hans Henrik will um, uh, show you how we have utilized some of these insights to the hardware and our new mixing technology. Thank you. So, to fully understand and, and address all these demands about flexibility and ab the ability to control the quality of the product, we in Tetra Pak, we initiated and recently completed a four year long research project in the area of mayonnaise and emulsified sauces. And we did that with the ambition to share that with throughout the industry. Um, but we also used the information to feed it into the development of a new range of high share mixes. A range that we, in our view, believe really is a technology leap in the industry and really comprises a next generation solution for production of mayonnaise, sauces and dressings. And I'll try to justify that uh, claim a little bit. Um, so, one of the key things in, in this uh, mixer solution is the flexibility. Ulrike mentioned the, the need for the manufacturers to produce all kinds of products. And this mixer solution can indeed do that. It can produce all kinds of mayonnaise variants, full fat, low fat, even variants with added particles. It can also handle all kinds of ingredients directly. That can be powders without dissolving them in oil first. That can be taking in particles and gently blend them in. That can be taking in fat blocks and so forth. It can be set up to operate in batch mode, continuous mode, with a few tweaks on the uh, few add-ons. And on top of that, flexibility. It also provides a possibility to control the quality very accurately. 
for mayonnaise, quality can be measured by, for instance, the droplet size or the texture of the final product. And this solution inherently have the, offers the possibility to control that very accurately and do that over a large range, meaning that the producers can match exactly the desired properties they want to. So we have the flexibility, we have the ability to control the quality, and on top of that, we actually also have the most cost-efficient solution on the market today. And that is thanks to some very short process time and some very um, savings on, on ingredients. I'll explain that later, how we can do that, but it's mainly in that two areas. So, if we dive a little bit into this technology, I will go through two of the key technologies in this high shear mixer. One of them is the central mixing head, which is located in the center of the tank, in the bottom of the tank, and creates circulation inside the tank. It is a rotor stator mixer device, and such is typically used for making a high shear mixing, or very intense mixing only. But the Tetrapack system have a patented dynamic stator system that allow you to switch from very intense mixing to very gentle blending on the fly. And that really offers unique uh, process opportunities and benefits. One of them is optimal utilization of ingredients, shear sensitive ingredients. For instance, starch-based stabilizers are often used in reduced fat mayonnaise to build up texture. And such is also shear sensitive, but conventionally people use high shear mixing to disperse it and mix it in properly. In the Tetrapack system, we dose the shear accurately, just sufficiently to disperse it and mix it in. And our studies have shown that this built same texture using 40% less stabilizers than in conventional systems. And you can think a little bit about what that does to product cost, and I'll share with you some numbers at the end of this presentation. Another benefit is the ability to take in ingredients very fast. That is powders or oils. Powders you can take in directly without pre-blending, and you can do that up to 200 kilo per minute. That's, that's really fast, that's four sacks in or oh, eight sacks per minute, actually. Also, oil we can take in very fast, up to eight kilo per minute. That's four times what's conventionally used in the industry. Think about what that does to production cost, since, for instance, 80% mayonnaise production of that, the most time-consuming step is actually the intake of the oil. I will also share some numbers at the end of the presentation regarding this. So let's, how can it be possible to take in oil this fast without breaking the emulsion. This shows the dynamic status system I was talking about before. This screen surrounding a high-speed rotor can be put in two positions. An upper position where the outflow from the rotor bypasses the stator element. And that creates low shear but relatively high tank flow. When the stator is put in down position, the outflow from the rotor hits the stator and creates very intense mixing and very fine emulsification. And in Tetrapack, we have used that to yeah, make a patented two-step emulsification process where we take in the oil actually in low shear mode. That's very untypical for what's else uh, done elsewhere in the industry but take it in in low shear mode and create a coarse emulsion only. When we take it in in low shear, the flow is very high and we can take in the oil very fast. And when all the oil is in and we have a coarse emulsion, we put the stator down and make the final emulsion very fast. So that gives two benefits, that speed of oil intake, meaning speed of production, but also the emulsification process is much more, much better defined because the input is already a coarse emulsion, and all the oil comes through the high shear mixing device the same number of times, all, always. It's not like 
the last introduced oil only goes through once, while the, the oil that was introduced first have gone through a number of times. Another key technology in, in uh, this high shear mixer is a twin shaft counter rotating double agitator system. When you want uniform high quality, it is absolutely key that all product volumes has been mixed or treated equally. This system does exactly that. It creates a very defined and high circulation inside the mixing vessel. And it does that very gently, even for the most viscous products. The outer blade, which is a helix, receives the outflow from the mixer unit and carries it alongside the wall to the top of the tank, while the inner blades return it to the mixer unit through the center. The system is designed for high flow and low shear, meaning that this system can also be used to blend in very shear sensitive particles, even in the most viscous mayonnaise. And it can do that within a minute. So, when we have a resource like this, of course, our mixers have, through the years, been designed through numerous trials and also many years of experience. But we also utilize uh, the latest engineering tools. And one of the tools we use is, and this is very important in, in this one, is uh, computation fluid dynamics. It's a way that you can simulate flows. It's typically used to create the aerodynamics of aeroplane wings or in a Formula One car, in car industry. But in Tetrapack, we use it to optimize our processing equipment as well. And by that, you can get very accurate information on what goes on inside the vessel. You can actually also simulate something so detailed as the droplet breakup in the multiplication process and even find the resulting droplet size distribution. So, another key output from the research projects is a prediction tool. It's a simulation tool that allows you to predict the outcome of a mixing process. For mayonnaise, the input could be the recipe, the ingredients, the amount of oil, the type of egg yolk, and so forth. How you operate the machine and how you configure the machine. That could be mixing time or mixing speed. The output could be quality parameters. For full fat mayonnaise, that could be a texture, that could be a droplet size distribution. It could also be something like energy consumption and production cost. So with this tool in hand, of course, this reduces the need for trials. It does not eliminate the trials, but it reduces the need. It will give you the possibility to do trouble-free scale up, having done lab trials and want to scale up to production size and it can be used to optimize your production costs or minimize that. So, if you want to read a little bit about of the insights behind this prediction tool, about the influence of the various parameters, the ingredients, the mixing speed, the mixing time and so forth, there's a white paper here that we published earlier this year it will be available up here after the, the seminar, or you can sign up for it, at least. It will not be available in hard copy, though. Likewise, there is also a white paper regarding how to use CFD to optimize your mixing process and your product quality. Also, this will be available. So, returning a little bit, to talk about the efficiency of the mixer solution. This table here shows the production time schedule of a 1500 kilo batch of full fat mayonnaise. The oil dosing in, in this process takes less than three minutes. It is followed then by the emulsification step that takes four minutes and that makes a process time in total less than 12 minutes. 
And that's almost two thirds of what's normally found in the industry for a 1500 kilobats process. Translating that production efficiency and the, the ability to dose share and utilize the ingredient better into savings. Well, if you start with the savings, then this chart here shows um, the ingredient savings for production of 50% salad mayo doing 20 batches a day, 200 days a year. That's not an unrealistic scenario. That goes up to 180,000 euro. If you top up with the operational savings due to efficiency and shorter time, you'll have a savings of 250,000 euro per year using a test pack ICR mixer for production of mayonnaise. So, sorry. Now Ulrike will translate all these benefits and savings into a reality using a real customer case. Yes. Yes, recently I visited a customer in Spain, Salsa Rica. They wanted to be here today. Unfortunately, they couldn't join us. So imagine instead that you are here in Logrono, in Rioja. This is where you found Salsa Rica. They are a successful family business been up and running for 23 years. They are a major mayonnaise producer, leading the market of mayonnaise for food service in Spain. And 80% of their range today consists of mayonnaise. A couple of months ago, they were looking to expand their business, but also to bring the product quality to next levels. Quality's very clear focus for Salsa Rica. And just by chance, Tetra Pak come to Salsa Rica's shortlist of potential equipment suppliers. I said chance because Salsa Rica didn't know Tetra Pak made mayonnaise machines. They found us on internet. And soon afterwards, we got the dialogue with them. And a great start was the trials we made with them last autumn using the, this new Tetra Pak Heise mixer that Hans Hendrik had shown the features of. And Salsa Rica experienced then how easy it was for them to produce many types of mayonnaise recipes and easily adapt between them. So all the things that Salsa Rica challenged us with come to reality in seven months. From the project started to the installation and up and running production, that was seven months. And the old, my, old mayonnaise lines at the factory has now been replaced by these. It's two Tetra Pak Heise mixers, the new design, two buffer tanks, an ingredient dosing system, and automation with Tetra Pak Plant Master for full line control and accuracy. And these two, new, uh, two new, new lines now produce one ton mayonnaise every nine minutes and 100 tons mayonnaise and dressing every day. So this quick pace serves Salsa Rica's up, up to 200 customers with as many as 500 different brands today. The startup of the commercial production exceeded expectations without any product wasted. So Salsa Rica got the improved quality, the flexibility and the efficiency boost they were looking for. And now they have increased the sales by 20%. For Tetra Pak, we can see the values of our many years of research and technology development work being successfully launched to the market. And these are three of the main food trends that is highly relevant for dressing and condiment sauces, as we see it. Firstly, 
we have the fast food 2.0 that reflects a new level of convenience combined with high product quality. Secondly, the food from near and far, fusion of different cuisines, com connecting local with global uh, preferences, a lot of variety of sauces. And sauces can really be everywhere in any type of dishes. That's what's really exciting about sauces. You can eat them everywhere. And thirdly, you have good food for me that covers every type of healthy choice. And at Tetra Pak's 10 product development centers, new products and recipes can be tested and in a real scalable environment across the globe. It gives the food industry access to our market research, our application expertise, our new technologies, and production solutions. So we never stop. We're always looking for new challenges, new trends, new opportunities. And we invite you to bring yours to discuss with us. And we thank you for listening. <laughs>